When you're ready to begin creating and customizing your own classroom library labels, you may open the PowerPoint presentation and instead of seeing formatting that looks like this, you may notice that the files actually look a lot like this and the font that's displayed on the PowerPoint files is not the same as the font that comes pre-formatted in the pre-made labels. The reason for this is that the font that I used is not installed in your computer yet, so PowerPoint can access that font information and use it. Fortunately, there's a really simple fix to this problem. You just need to download and install the font. So I have directions to walk you through how to do this on a PC so that you can give those finished library labels that polish and that cohesive look so they match all of the other library labels that were printed ahead of time from the set. The font that you need to install is called KG Why You Gotta Be So Mean. It's available as a free download on Teachers Pay Teachers. So it's not installed on this computer yet, and I'm going to walk you through the steps to installing it now. Once you're logged into Teachers Pay Teachers and you found the font, go ahead and click the Download Now button. And you can save it. Once it's installed on your computer, go ahead and open the Downloads file. So it says it file that contains these items. I'm going to go ahead and open it. This is just a text document that has the terms of use for the font. You can use it for free for personal use, which is what would be the case if you were just downloading it to use on your library labels within your own classroom library. These two files here are two different versions of the font. These are the TTF files. All that you need to do to install them on your computer is to double click and this opens the font information, just go ahead and click the install button. And then when it's done installing, you can go ahead and open the next one. Click the install button. It says it's installed. Once it's grayed out, it means that it has been installed. Now, what you'll notice is you might go over to open that same PowerPoint file again and you'll see that the font hasn't changed. PowerPoint hasn't figured out that there is a new font installed on your computer, so you'll need to close out this application and reopen it. So, close it. I'm going to go ahead and reopen it. And once PowerPoint restarts, there is the font installed on my computer. You only need to install the font one time and it is there indefinitely so that you can continue using it. It's just one step to get you started. Once it's installed, you can use it across all of your Microsoft applications.